Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So today we are going to see how we can create this gaming text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start the video first. Let's remove this text effect and let's start creating our text effect. The font I'm using for this text effect is long shot and the font size will be 435 point let's lock other layers first uh, so we can work easily select this text and click on this none to remove the fill color then we'll go to appearance panel and click on this add new fill Let's change the color of this layer to white and next select this layer and duplicate this layer. Now let's change the color of this layer. Then click OK. Next go to effect path and offset path. Apply a minus 2 pixel offset path and then click OK. Keep selecting this layer then go to effect distort and transform and transform and here in move section apply a 2 pixel horizontal value and 2 pixel for vertical and then click OK next select this layer duplicate this now let's change the color of this layer to default black and white gradient Let's move this layer up and then we go to gradient panel, change the angle to 90. Next, go to appearance panel and let's apply offset path to this layer. We'll apply a minus 2 pixel offset path and then click OK. Next, keep selecting this layer, then go to effect pixelate and color half tone here in color half tone we need max radius to 8 pixels and you can see channel 1 2 3 4 we need 45 for each then click ok next click on this arrow and then click on opacity let's change the blend mode of this layer to color dodge and let's close this arrow now click select this white layer and duplicate this layer now select this layer and let's change the colors first let's apply default black and white gradient and now click on this white point and let's change the color we'll apply same color to this point now let's click on almost center and add a point and let's change the color next click on this point and change the location to 25 percent and select this point and change the location to 75 percent now select this point and change the location to 50 percent next go to appearance panel keep selecting this layer and then go to effect distort and transform and transform here in move section we need 0 pixel for horizontal and 0 0.5 pixel for vertical and we need 35 copies and next then click ok keep selecting this layer then we'll go to effect stylize and inner glow click on this color and we need this color for this layer and let's change the blend mode to multiply and we need 50% opacity and 7% blur and then click OK next keep selecting this layer now duplicate this layer select this layer and then go to gradient panel now double click on this point and change the color
we'll apply same color to this point double click on this point and let's change the color next go to appearance panel click on arrow and let's apply offset path to this layer go to effect path and offset path apply a 15 pixel offset path and then click ok next duplicate this layer let's close this layer now select this layer and let's change the color of this layer to white and then click on effect distort and transform and transform and click on apply new effect and we need to change the move section values we'll apply a minus two pixel for horizontal and minus one pixel for vertical and then click ok let's remove the inner glow from this layer and next let's duplicate this white layer now select this layer and let's change the color then click ok now click on this arrow and then click on offset path and change the offset path values to 36 pixel and then click ok next click on this transform and let's remove this now select this layer and let's duplicate this layer now select this layer and let's change the color now click ok next click on effect distort and transform and transform click on apply new effect and here in scale section we need 99.8% for horizontal and 100% for vertical in move section we need 0 pixel for horizontal and 0 0.75 for pixel for vertical and we need 40 copies and then click ok next keep selecting this layer then go to effect stylize and inner glow click on this color and let's change the color to this one then click ok we need 40 percent opacity and 25 pixel blur for this layer and then click ok next duplicate this layer select this layer and let's change the color then click ok now click on this arrow then click on this transform and let's remove this click on this inner glow and let's remove this inner glow too and now click on offset path and let's increase the offset path value to 42 pixel and then click ok then click on this transform let's change the copies to zero and then let's change the value of move section we need 42 pixel for vertical and then click ok next keep selecting this layer then go to effect and stylize and outer glow click on this color then apply this color click ok change the blend mode to normal and change the opacity to 100% and keep the blur to 5 pixel and then click ok keep selecting this layer then go to effect blur and gaussian blur apply a 10 pixel gaussian blur then click ok next select this layer duplicate this layer now select this layer and let's change the color
then click OK. Click on offset path and change the offset path values to 36 pixel. Then click OK. Keep selecting this layer. Then go to effect, distort and transform and transform. Click on apply new effect. Here in scale section, change the value to 99.7% and we need 100% for vertical. In move section, zero pixel for horizontal, one pixel for vertical and we need 10 copies. Then click OK. Next, duplicate this layer. Select this layer. Click on this arrow. Then click on outer glow and delete this. Click on Gaussian blur and delete this. Next, click on this transform and we'll just change the copies to 40 and then click OK. Next, let's change the color of this layer. For that, we'll go to gradient panel. Let's apply default black and white gradient. Click on this white point. Let's change the color to this one. Click on this black point and change the color to this one next click on appearance panel and we'll go to effect stylize and inner glow click on color and let's change the color to this one and then click ok we need 40 percent opacity and 25 pixel blur let's check the blend mode to normal then click ok next click on this type then go to effect click on warp click on arc and let's change the vertical value to 10% then click OK click on type again go to effect war and click on arc lower then click on apply new effect apply a minus 15% band and change the vertical to value to 0 then click OK. So if you want to add shadows to this text effect, it's, it's all up to you. You can add a shadow like this and duplicate this layer. Now select this layer and change the color of this layer to black. So we can delete inner glow from this layer. Next click on this transform and change copies to 60 then click ok now select this layer then go to effect blur and gaussian blur and change the value as you like and then click ok you can add multiple drop shadow layers to create a smooth and realistic shadow so here is our final text effect look if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching